now you guys have talked about you know, walking away from the Avengers, but um, I, I, I read somewhere where you thought, end of Jon Snow, I'm going to be cool about this. This is going to be, you know, it's just a chapter in my life. I'm fine. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I'd, maybe you've, you've had this when you get people come up to you in the street and they say, are you Jon Snow? And you're kind of like, well, not technically, I'm not Jon Snow, no, <laughs> but well, let's go with it, I'm Jon... But I kind of waited, I really, really had waited to say the words, not anymore. <laughs> like, in a really stoic, kind of oh. cool way. Like, the first person I go, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what really happened was I left set and I was very emotional and this poor girl came up to the airport and went, are you Jon Snow? And I went, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She must just walked away. Just backed off. <laughs> yeah. off pretty quick. Don't ask him. <laughs> you do have an annoying question. Well, I don't know about annoying. You uh, have yeah. a question. I don't know. So when we were on set with our, our movie, I was uh, often getting into debates with Joel Fry, who's an actor who's in the movie, a brilliant actor. And uh, I believe that the line from Lord of the Rings is "Fly, you fools," but he was just constantly telling me it was run you fools oh. and I was like no it's fly it's definitely fly, fly. Mm. but maybe you could clear it fly. up for us fly fly it is well, fly yeah. you win yeah. Yeah. but uh, uh, just just for the nerds um, and hobbits among you uh, it <laughs> it's oh <laughs> uh, it is not uh, you shall not pass uh, Tolkien didn't write that he wrote you cannot pass you cannot and pass. I got it wrong but um, <gasps> I'm rather stuck with it now. <laughs> this is very exciting. <laughs> OK, first person in the red chair. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Celine. Hello, Celine. Hi, Jack. What story have you got for us? Well, this is my second visit to the red chair, actually. Oh. I was here eight years ago. Right. And I told a story that I thought was really good about when I was living in France and something happened with my daughter. However, a certain guest on the sofa that night really did not like my story, and he was rather rude. Uh, oh. <gasps> uh -huh. He actually said, is that the best story she could come up with? Who does she bloody think she is? <laughs> Funnily enough, my daughter met this person at a nightclub recently. Oh, and... my God, it's me. <laughs> I sent you a message, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. No, thank you very much. You did apologise. I know. Okay. I'm so sorry. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so awkward. <laughs> what, did, what, was it, what did you perform at? You performed at a seafood festival? I mean, which, which, which shit show you want to know about? <laughs> That it, was, it was all. I think they wanted. Was it crab? I had a, I had a crab fest. That, um, <laughs> <laughs> crab fest. Listen, what is you, that? In the beginning of the stand-up comedy, <laughs> you're not you're not performing in in luxury you know venues. They, <laughs> wherever they feel that they can build the stage and make money is where you're going. So there was a crab fest. <laughs> <laughs> They was like, we're going to book some talent. <laughs> some comedian talent. And I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm available. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to tell a joke while people crack and crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best environment. I mean, literally, the frustration that comes from not being able to open a crab is still... <laughs> And you're not funny at the same time. The stuff that you hear. I remember hearing a woman, oh an older lady, who was like, she was cracking crack. Because <laughs> this is how you crack crack. <laughs> she was looking at me and she's like, cracking a crack. And I tell a joke and the joke doesn't work. And I remember this lady just going, oh no. <laughs> much rather be booed. The, dis <laughs> the disappointment that came from her voice and then oh no. She said, baby, it was like, oh no, baby. As, as if I made a mistake with my choice of life. Like, like I'm not doing it wrong. I, I mean, you know, look, the, 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 the hardship that I went through has helped 
help build me into the person I am today to where I, I can take so much. But I, I've been through it all. I was, I was hit in the face with a buffalo wing. Uh, <laughs> I performed at a... Don't perform a, around <laughs> food. No, no, no. no when we go to my shows now, there's no food <laughs> It was a, it was a it was actually a male strip club that they oh shut gosh. down for comedy for the first half. So <laughs> it was like it was a bunch of it was ladies in there and you know it was just supposed to be us performing for these women that were riled up. First thing I got on stage when they introduced me and this lady was like, pull it out. I said, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. That's not me. I'm not here for that. I'm here to entertain. These are jokes. <laughs> I, I know who's got kids. I start, I start trying to merge into kid material. And there's one dude from the back. I just remember this dude from the back. He was like, that's enough. And he just, he just threw a buffalo wing at me. And it landed, hit me, hit me in the cheek, a little bit of sauce, got like right here. Buffalo sauce is hot, so I start. I assumed that it was a woman with a deep voice, so I was like, who threw it? Who threw it? Because at the end of the day, I'm a man. I'm a man first. Don't disrespect me. <laughs> he stood up. He was like, I did it. And I, I contemplated just taking my clothes off. I was like, that's <laughs> the only way to go. <laughs> talk about it then, but now we can talk about uh, poor old Thor yeah. in that film. He sort of, he did eat his feelings. He definitely ate his way through his emotions, yeah. <laughs> he did. We've got some pictures. Um, there, yeah. there you are eating your feelings. That's it. But now you didn't do that. I oh, know, that was my uh, full raging bull Oscar attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that, I mean, cause it's, so this is a fat suit. This is, no, it's the most remarkable thing. It, it's a... It's uh, so good. It's a... It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> prosthetic uh, latex kind of thing, which literally I would slip into. It weighed about 60, 70 pounds. What's that, 30, 40 kilograms? Yeah. With a zip up the back. And they're taking photos of my body and then every little sort of... The, the, the hair or freckle or whatever the hell that was on that thing. It was, it was, it was that, that's my body in, in like six months' time. <laughs> After this. And like, Thor was depressed, but we, was it depressing walk for you nah. walking around like that? No, nah, it was so much fun. It was good. <laughs> Did people treat you differently? As in, you? <laughs> yeah, every time I stepped toward the catering truck, they were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Big guy, you know, <laughs> on the treadmill. We were we were doing an interview yesterday, <laughs> and the journalist for Good Omens, and the journalist said, asked me, were you wearing a fat suit for it? <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't zip up. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she? She did, I'm afraid. She didn't really recover from that moment. No, no, no. <laughs> the, the, interview interview, the interview never it went south quite quickly. <laughs> And did you get the, the pregnant lady thing, where people just want to touch your stomach? You got a lot of cuddles. And like... <laughs> My wife, I've had, three, I've had three, she's had three kids, and uh, often, you know, the pregnant lady, they get the, the belly rub in the yeah, supermarket, yeah, yeah. and Robert Downey gave me a fair share of belly <laughs> rubs. <laughs> Everyone was wanting to cuddle me. I feel like Santa Claus, you know? Yeah, yeah. A few sort of Avengers on my lap from time to time. But... <laughs> Just to go back to uh, the hot priest for a second. Uh, Twitter obviously went mad for the hot priest. And it was one scene, particularly the kneel scene. Mm. Well, well, that oh, there was a gasp over there. <laughs> 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 so, what was it about that scene that drove people so crazy? I don't really know. I don't really... Ask her. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's quite strange, because uh, the, the, it was just on Phoebe, that scene. Yeah. You know, the camera was just on her. You actually never see uh, the priest in that scene. So, I did think that there, there, was, there was a touch of the old... Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely, you know, transgressive and everything. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, t I think just the priest thing does, does, does it for people. I don't know, I don't get it. Yeah, a bit of confession. And yeah, well, a bit of yeah, confession. Yeah, 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 that yeah, scene, naughty. you got it licked. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, here are just, honestly, these are just a couple of tweets. These are mild, these tweets. It's been seven hours and 15 days, and I'm still thinking about hot priest and flea bag. <laughs> uh, I like this one. I was in the Catholic Church for a wedding today, and honestly, it was too soon. <laughs> <laughs> this, this woman went to a lot of trouble for this one. Look at this, she was so happy with herself. Saw real life hot priests today. They do exist. And look, it does actually look a bit like. <laughs> <laughs> 
He doesn't like skin? a vegan sub salad, I see. I know, and also it's a bit <laughs> weird wearing a leather jacket right in front of a vegan yeah. sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then this last woman, she really went for it. People Waller Bridge appreciate to be. People like Sirius Jew, shitting hell. When that priest said, Neil, my vagina exploded. <laughs> in a way a man has never quite been able to achieve. <laughs> That's writing. That's a very good writing. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah. It really is.